Hey guys, I thought I'd pop on and show you um, a few bits and pieces of all beauty related that I have picked up recently. Um, so I'm really, really excited about and kind of different. I'll start with the first kind of really different one that has um, been introduced to me recently. It's called the Ultimate Fix. And I Instagrammed this a couple of days ago. Uh, it's really unusual. I saw it first on somebody's blog, I believe it was the Sunday Girl, and she raved about it, and I was really, really intrigued by it. And it's by a company called uh, Beauty Narcotics. And this is actually a, uh, it dries and protects nail polish in minutes with a non-oily drying spray. Um, it's actually used in a lot of salons as well, but they've just kind of sort of introduced it now to the, uh, to the public. I didn't really know what to think about this. Um, I was really excited to try it, but this is the only uh, nail drying spray. I mean, they do like the Sally Hansen ones that everybody knows about. This is the only nail drying spray that you can use on every single layer of polish. So you put your base coat on and then you spray it on and then you put your um, each layer of your colored polish on and you spray it on with each layer that you do and then you finally put it on over your top coat. Um, it smells lovely, apart from anything else. I thought maybe it would smell just awful, but it smells really, really nice. And it actually works. It's not oily. I expected to get like a residue kind of around my, around my nails where I'd sprayed it and I thought oh well, if I'm gonna have to wash my hands directly after I've sprayed it on that kind of defeats the object but you, it doesn't it doesn't leave any residue on your hands at all. It smells really nice. It is very strong though so um, if you're gonna get this I'd recommend using it in a really well ventilated room because it's really strong um, and it actually does work. I was quite surprised. I've never really been one to kind of buy into stuff that especially nail polish, quick drying stuff. I've never found one that actually did what it said. Um, so this is really, it's really interesting. Um, I'll link it down below. It's quite pricey. That's the only kind of drawback, but you do get 200 mil. It's kind of like a hairspray size bottle. It's massive and you don't need to use too much. Um, I mean, depending on how many, how many kind of layers of polish you're doing, you don't need to use too much of it uh, for each kind of time you do your nails. I've used it I used it the first time I got it on this polish here, which I'll show you in a minute. And it leaves a really nice glossy finish over the nail. It's really beautiful. It hasn't chipped at all. It hasn't even worn. It's amazing. And I did this, let's see, it's Wednesday. I did my nails Saturday. And usually, you know, my nails probably would have chipped by now, but they haven't chipped. They're really, they're perfect. They look just like they were done a second ago. So I really, really like this. Uh, it's pricey, as I said, but you know, if, if you're somebody that, that paints your nails a lot, it could be a really good investment because I hate waiting for my nail polish to dry. Once again, going on to nails, uh, these are just beautiful. These are from the new Estee Lauder Heavy Petals collection, and um, that's their spring nail collection, and they're beautiful. They've come out with all sorts of pastels, mints and pinks and lavenders and everything, and this is one of the colours that I have on my nails at the moment. So I'll show you the one that I have on my nails. I also Instagrammed these, and everybody fell in love with this one. This is the uh, Lilac Leather C6. I love the packaging and the bottles for these are so gorgeous I was really really surprised I've seen them in the store and everything but I think they're just I don't know when you kind of get them home and you have a look at them next to your other nail polish bottles they're just uh, they're really quite exquisite so this is lilac leather and that's what I have on my nails at the moment it's a really beautiful pinky it's kind of a milky pink, but in in different lights, it does definitely, see it's coming out now, the violet, violet kind of lilac undertone is definitely coming out in it now. So that is lilac leather, that's beautiful, I really like that. And the other one I have from this collection is uh, Narcissist, which is G2. Once again, same packaging. Uh, and this is, this is absolutely the definition of a baby pink, look at that. So pretty different. They are pretty different on the nails. This is very, very light. Just an absolute baby doll pink. And the other one, it's got, as it as suggests, got more lilac undertones in it. But that's Narcissist. I haven't tried that one yet, but I'm very, very excited to, because it's beautiful, absolute. I think this is gonna be one of my favorite kind of go-to just everyday colors, because it's so pretty, and yet it's not too overwhelming for everyday. So that's Narcissist. So those are from the Heavy Petals collection. I believe that's out now. Um, and they do a blue as well and a mint, which look very, very pretty. But um, those are the two that I have in the Heavy Petals collection. Um, I'll put the price of these down below. They are absolutely stunning. And um, yeah, as I said, I use them with the Ultimate Fix spray and they're, they're just, they're gorgeous. They're really opaque as well. That's the thing. Uh, the lilac leather is really, really opaque. I kind of expected it to be a bit streaky because kind of milky polishes tend to be a little bit streaky, but 
they're not they're just they're beautiful this is two coats and it didn't really need two coats I just thought why not I'll just put two coats on but it didn't need two coats it was just it was fine with one so those are beautiful by Estee Lauder absolutely gorgeous one makeup product in this kind of little beauty roundup uh, this is oh this is beautiful and I I was kind of researching this online and I didn't hear too much about it. I, I had to go to Sephora and places like that to see people's reviews of it. I couldn't find any kind of individual reviews and videos or on blogs or anything like that, which is kind of weird, I don't know why. But this is the Laura Mercier Mineral Illuminating Powder and this one is in Starlight. Now I've heard a lot about Candlelight, not a huge amount, but I have heard a little bit more about Candlelight than I've heard about Starlight. I have this on today as my highlight as you can see here. And it is just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I've never tried one of her powders. So I was very, very excited to try this. And of course it comes in this packaging here. How much do you get of this? I think it's, you get 9.6 grams, so quite a fair amount. What I love about this packaging, um, and I just discovered this to, uh, today, because it's the first time I've used it while I was putting it on, is it's got kind of like a, like two little wells, and I thought, I don't really understand what that's for. And this actually moves around, so if you want to take it traveling with you, you don't spill the powder out everywhere. Isn't that a fantastic idea? I think that's just brilliant. So you just kind of move this around, and then you get to the bit that dispenses the powder. Fantastic idea. This is really, really beautiful. Um, it's, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but you can see it, as I said, I'm wearing it today. It's an absolutely gorgeous, very, very, very light gold. It's not sort of like a, like a, you know, like a bronzy gold or anything like that. It's a very, very, very light gold. So it's perfect for people that are pale, like myself. This is absolutely lovely. I definitely like to try candle, candle light because I've heard a lot about that. But this one is just beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Um, I will be demonstrating this in a video. I'm going to do a video on how I contour and highlight. Um, so I thought I would use this in that video. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that if you want to see how it applies because it just goes on like a dream. These, um, is it just their mineral illuminating powders? It may be all of their powders, but I just believe it's the illuminating ones. Their powders actually have um, crushed up diamonds, rubies, uh, topaz in them. I, I was just, it says it on the back here, let me see. Pearl powder, diamond powder, emerald, nephrite powder, ruby, moonstone, quartz, and topaz. It's beautiful. It's just, it's like silk. I just cannot sing the praises of this enough. So if you're in the market for a new highlighter, I would definitely go and look at the uh, Laura Mercier ones because they're stunning. This is £26. Pricey, but you get what you pay for. I think it's beautiful. So that's the only makeup item I have to share with you. I have a couple of things from Crabtree and Evelyn next. And these I just, oh, so excited to try. These are from the new Taroka Orange range and um, it's Sicilian red orange is, is kind of the main ingredient in this, but they also have a eucalyptus and sage kind of base note to them. So this is the new range, this is the new kind of spring range um, for Crabtree and Evelyn. There's also a hand cream, it's like a, another body souffle, and um, there's something else, I'm not quite sure what it was. Or maybe it's just the hand cream and the body souffle. But this one is the Deep Cleansing Body Scrub, which I'm very excited to use. I haven't used it yet because I just got it today but I'm very excited to use this. Look at the packaging, the packaging is just stunning. Now I love anything orange scented, anything like that, lemon orange, but orange especially, and I had to try this when I found out that it was um, red orange, blood orange. But um, I absolutely had to try this, and it has eucalyptus in it, sage to refresh, and it also has a blend of uh, different orange, different type of orange, and bergamot and neroli in it. So I'm very excited to use this. This is 175 grams. Very excited. I will be adding that to my um, rotation of scrubs. I'm very excited by that. I'll put the price of this down below. I'm not, not too sure off the top of my head. And this is the Skin Refreshing Body Lotion from the same range. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. So, so spring and summer appropriate. So if you like your orange scented things, you will not be disappointed by this. This is the body lotion and this is 250 ml. So I really like this new range. The smell is gorgeous. It's really, it's really quite a rich smell considering it's orange and citrus. It's just, it's beautiful. So if you're, if you're into kind of citrus and orange, I would recommend this completely, this whole range. It's just beautiful. So that's by Crabtree and Airman. This is also new. This is uh, by, is it Tiggy? TG? TG? I think it's TG. It's their Hair Reborn range. And I received a press release about this a couple of days ago. And they've come out with, um, 
the, the whole new hair reborn system and their styling products they do hairspray they do a hairspray um they do a hair texturizing wax the hair souffle um i think they also do like um an illuminating spray for the hair this is the restorative illumini oil or illumin oil illumin oil that's probably more how you say it, the aluminum oil. Um, and all of these smell like, it says in the press release, like honeysuckle and water mint. I can definitely smell the water mint. They smell gorgeous. They're not minty like, you know, peppermint, but it's, it's really nice and refreshing. And I used this today. It's just a clear oil. And what you're supposed to do with this is just run it from the mid lengths to the ends of your hair. And it kind of just, it on damp hair or dry hair, I used it on dry hair. And it kind of just gives it a little bit of a, you can kind of see a little bit of a sheen kind of tames it all down. It's it's really nice. It's really, really nice. I really like it. So I like this. It's very pricey though. That's the only thing. I mean, if you like you, you, your hair products and you like experimenting with them, then it's probably not that pricey. This is 17 95 and you get 50 ml. But um, I think it's really, really nice. It says it instantly smooths and adds a brilliant shine. So I think, I think that's kind of, yeah, definitely. It's definitely added a shine. I think that's very pretty, I really like that. So the whole hair reborn range. Um, if I can find it like a stockist, I don't know if they sell them in boots or somewhere, if I can find a stockist, I'll put that down below. And then finally, to round off this kind of beauty bits haul, um, I have the uh, moisture locking intensive rescue range from Vaseline, which is a funny thing really. And I've actually fallen in love with it. And I didn't think I would like it as much as I do because of the fact that all the products in this range are unfragranced. But then I thought, you know, you guys would probably appreciate that if you have kind of sensitive skin because a lot of the stuff I talk about is really highly fragrant. So I thought if, you, if you're kind of looking for something that is just gonna moisturize, um, then this range is fantastic. I've been trying it out for a little while and I really, really like everything in it. So it's kind of surprising. And the wonderful thing about this range is that nothing is over a fiver, so that's fab. Um, this is the new uh, Intensive Rescue Repair and Protect Body Lotion and it run fragranced, all the stuff is, and it says it accelerates persistently dry skin's ability to repair itself. Uh, it relieves dry itchy skin, improves the skin's appearance, and actively soothes the discomfort of very dry skin. It's hyperallergenic. Um, and I actually, I think this is just, just stunning. I've been using this at night on my legs. I, it's, it kind of has like a cooling um, element to it, and I don't really know why. I, I don't know whether that's like the water in it or, but it definitely has a cooling element to it, no scent at all, and it just sinks right into the skin. This is fantastic, this has done wonders for my skin. I think it's gorgeous, and I've been using this um, at night. So I really, really like this. And then there's another one for the same range, which is the Moisture Locking Body Lotion. So this one's for, this one's like really intense, and this one is um, just for dry skin. This, this one is for persistently dry skin. So they also do this one. Um, I, I don't like this as much. I do like it, but I just kind of feel it, it's kind of a little bit sticky. This one I would recommend to everybody. Uh, even if you don't have really, really dry skin, I just recommend this because I think it's fantastic. I really like it. So I like those two body lotions from that range. Um, just put these down. They also do in this range. They do the soothing hand cream. Uh, accelerates once again dry skin's ability to heal itself with effective moisturization. It looks like this. I love this, I've been using this, I've been using it at night, but I've also been using it during the day, and I think I've been using it more than my other hand creams because it's unfragranced. I know that sounds a little bit silly, but I kind of just feel that this is just more accessible to use every day uh, and during the day, rather than putting on stuff that's really highly fragranced. It probably just sounds a bit bizarre, but I really, really like this. It's very, very nice. No fragrance to it at all, but I think this is fab. It's really, really soothing. I really like that. So if you've got really dry skin on your hands, I would definitely recommend that one. And then this, I love this. This is the Moisture Locking Cream. And it's a huge tub. It is a massive tub. I think this is 4 99 And um, this I have been using, this is, uh, it doesn't say it's for the body necessarily, but I think you can't just suppose to use it on your body, but I have been using this all my face at night. Because I have been suffering from dry patches on my skin, I think I was allergic to a Monu uh, exfoliator that I used. It came in a glossy box and I used it and it kind of broke me out and made my skin very dry, so I threw it immediately in the bin. <laughs> so um, I, I've been using this on the areas that that kind of made my skin really, really dry and this is fantastic. This is like a whipped cream. It comes with a, a little seal on the top of it. And it's, if you can see, 
it's like the thickest cream known to man. Um, but you can use it on, on the body, obviously, but it, you can use it wherever you like. Um, I can use this on my feet as well, it's gorgeous. And it sinks right in it, it's not sticky, but I have been using this on my face. I think it's fantastic for that. Really, really nice, so I love this. So I definitely recommend this. And then of course, the good old Faithful. There is a lip balm that comes with the Intensive Rescue range. I don't have that, but I would like to try it. I think it's kind of more like a, um, it's like a squeezy tube. But then of course, there's the uh, Vaseline, good old Petroleum Jelly Lip Therapy, which I have been using a lot. Um, so it, I've been using this over all of my other lip balms, my expensive ones. I think this is like a pound or something. So it just goes to show you, sometimes the tried and tested, good old fashioned things are much better for you than the really expensive newfangled stuff. So that's the Vaseline um, Intensive Rescue range. It's fantastic if you have sensitive skin or you have really dry skin and you don't want to kind of clog it up with fragrances and perfumes, because I know a lot of people are allergic to things like that, then uh, definitely go and check that out. And you can get that in Boots and Super Drug, and as I said, nothing's in the range is more on a fiber, so that's fantastic. So, I hope you enjoyed that guys. Just a little haul, well, quite a big haul, I suppose, <laughs> of uh, stuff from like the past, I don't know, week and a bit. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions about the products, then leave me a comment down below. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day guys, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.